Okay, you're going to look at how to get Minecraft mods onto Xbox 360. A couple things you're going to need, USB drive, at least 100, wow, 1 gig, Xbox 360, uh, some sort of modding tool, and maybe unzip software. First thing we're going to do, plug in that USB drive right into the front of the Xbox. Now we're going to configure the USB drive. So we're going to have to go over to Settings, System, go down to Storage, find the USB drive, and we're going to select configure now and it's going to warn us that it will wipe everything off of that drive and that's fine uh, for, for here but if not make sure you've made a copy so that's going to take a few minutes comes back it says it's ready to go now the next thing we need to do is actually make uh, a, not a copy but move our profile from our hard drive to our USB drive so we're gonna go we're gonna back out of here we're gonna go to profiles I'm gonna select my profile I'm gonna hit move now I'm gonna select the USB drive going to copy it over, sign me out, that's fine. And you'll see my profile is not there anymore because it's on the USB drive. It's not listed in profiles. At this point I'm done. I can eject the USB drive, just pull it right out. And I'm going to go over to my PC for the next step is I'm going to load the mod onto that USB drive. Now you need to download a mod and you're also going to need to download some sort of modding tool. Uh, Horizon is the one that I got. That works really well, very simple. It's just uh, Google that. And you see, as soon as I open up Horizon, it finds my USB drive that I've inserted uh, into my computer, and you can see my profile there. Now, over here on the desktop is I have a mod that I downloaded, and I'm going to go try to open it. As you can see, there's nothing really to do because I realize it's zipped up. Uh, so I'm going to have to go grab some unzip software free. I just used um, Win7Zip, I mean. And um, once I got that installed, I come over here and now I can go 7-zip and extract files and I'm just going to extract them right here on the desktop. It's going to create a folder with the mod name. Say OK. Now up in the top left you'll see I have a folder up here the, the name of the mod that I had downloaded and there's this bin file. Now all I have to do is I'm going to move that over there, move Horizon over there. I'm going to grab, drag and drop it right on top of my profile. It says use this profile. I said yep that's the mod is going to now be associated with that profile and that's all you really have to do. At this point I can um, go ahead and eject my USB drive safely pull that out. You can see I kind of look and see what's going on. Not much there or of interest to me but I'm going to eject it. Now I'm going to head over back to my Xbox plug uh, that USB drive back in the front I'm going to go to the storage device. I see my hard drive. I'm oh, sorry, there's my USB drive. I'm going to go to um, games and apps. You can see I got Minecraft there. Profiles, there's my profile. So now I'm going to move my profile back to my hard drive. Select the hard drive. It's going to take some time and move that over there. It'll say no more profile. Um, I can try to move Minecraft but it's not going to like it at first because the owner is my, my profile um, is actually I'm not logged in so I have to make sure that you are logged into your profile so um, that's what happens here actually as I go to move and it says no you can't because of your profile so I went and made sure I'm logged in and then I can go back once this is finally logged in and I can move the game over to the hard drive. Okay, so then I go all the way back. Setting, system, storage. I'm gonna go to my memory unit to see go ahead and find there's Minecraft. Select it, I'm gonna say move. I can do copy or move, it doesn't really matter, but I'm gonna say move, go to hard drive, it's gonna push it over. Now there's nothing left on my uh, USB drive. Uh, some system items, don't really care about that. Just going to back out of there. I'm going to go launch Minecraft. Once I finally get here, 
I'm going to go to play game. It's going to load up. It's going to take a little while, so we'll skip ahead. I select hard drive because I've moved everything to the hard drive. Start game. And you will see there's all of our saved ones in it. There's the mod that I had loaded up. And this one has all kind of uh, buildings from around the world. So hit load. It's eventually going to load up. And um, that's all you have to do. So again, you need a USB drive. Download it on your computer. Get the, get the mod in, on the USB drive. And then, then go ahead and copy it over to your Xbox. And that's all. All you got to do. I hope this helps. Good luck.